Lots of stuff here. Let's go over not only what to carry, but how to carry it, because that's critical for your game. First things first, whether you're using a carry bag, which I highly recommend, get your exercise in, but if you're riding a cart and you have a giant bag, like a staff bag or a cart bag, the same rules are gonna apply for both of these. This is a six-way top. This is one, two, three, four-way top. My personal favorite is the four ways. So four, five, six, or whatever, the same rules apply for all of these. The good news is we don't always have to have all of this stuff, but we need most of it. So I've whittled it down to the bare essentials that we need. The stuff you don't always need is gonna be your rain gear and your umbrella. But if you're taking those, I will always have my rain gear nicely rolled up like so. Helps keep the wrinkles out. And I will tuck it down in the side pouch of both bags, like so. Now the umbrella is interesting. This is a short umbrella. A lot of people have the long ones. I don't like either, but if I carry one, it's typically gonna be a short one. So where do you put the short umbrella on this bag? These are really built for an umbrella to go through here, that strap, and then kind of the tip of it would go on this little piece here and hold it in. So if you have the long umbrella, that would be perfect. Since I have the short guy, I also would put it in this top pouch here and just zip it up like so and keep it there. It can fit all the way also in there. But let's face it, most of us aren't playing a lot when it's raining. And even if it is raining, I typically just don't use it. I use my rain gear and there you go. Now let's get into what we need to carry all the time. And speaking of what to carry, most often this video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. Look at this little sleek guy. If you're looking for a great little profile wallet, this one has a nice little money clip. Look at that little guy, I love it. Discount code for you in the link in the video description. Check it out, Ridge Wallet. Beautiful selection of wallets. In my Sherwood video, I'll put it right here for you to check out. I go over everything I keep here, band-aids and super glue and whatnot here in a plastic bag to stay dry. And that, for me, goes in this back container here. That's gonna be my uh, first aid stuff and little, little knickknacks that we need. I always keep a pouch. I put all the little stuff, okay? Your tees, your ball markers, that kind of stuff. Go in the pouch. And that also goes in this back pouch as well. Gloves. Gloves are muy importante, all right? It's very important. I carry three gloves with me. And if you really want to look cool and you want people to think you're really good, you just put it on the back handle or somewhere like that on your bag. And since I carry three, I'll do that with three. But if it's rainy or wet, I won't put them out here. What you do is this. After you're done hitting a shot, you take your glove off and you strap it to the inside of the umbrella like so. And then it won't get wet. You're gonna wanna do the same thing with your towel, okay? Hang the stuff that's super critical up inside your umbrella. Pro tip for you right there. Just remember to get it before you put your umbrella away. And this bad boy, I carry this with me in a little Sharpie just to mark my ball. And I keep that up here right there. This is, uh, you gotta count the cost on carrying this. Water, water's heavy. Your bag usually has a little spot for it right there. And I throw it right there. Good to go. The answer to how many golf balls you should carry is six. Six golf balls. 
You're like, Matt, I lose that many. Okay, look, if you're losing six golf balls, then you're searching a lot for golf balls and you're gonna need to collect golf balls while you're looking, all right? If you're losing six golf balls, you're in the category of person who needs to use found golf balls from the bushes. I'm sorry, that's just the rules of the game. And these for me also will go in the top zipper portion right there. Range finder, that's where I roll with it, just right there, easy as can be. Now our clubs, your long clubs, driver, five wood, three wood, go up top here. Then I go long irons. I have a four, a five, and a six for my long irons, and they're gonna go in the pouch, one down on the right. If you really wanna get precise, four, five, six. Mid irons go here, and we go seven, eight, and nine iron, right there. Now I have my wedges. I have a four slot bag. Some people have on the bottom slot where you're putting your wedges, they have two, they have two slots. And then what you would do is you would go uh, pitching wedge, gap wedge on the right, and then your two highest lofted ones on the left, like so. And then those would be like that. Now, I personally don't like that layout. I like this layout because I just throw my wedges down here like so. And then I know all of them are down at the bottom. Now your putter, okay? This controversial topic right now, some people throw it down below. Okay, look, if you're throwing it down below, here's what happens more often is your putter head cover is banging against other clubs on the way down and it could pop it off and it falls off and you lose it as you're walking down the fairway. Throw it up top here, because then what it's hitting is just these protected clubs up here. So the putter goes on top. Now the towel. This is one, the most underrated tool in your golf bag of where it should go. I do not clip it on the side of my bag. I, do, I don't get the clip on. I don't like the clip on. I like just a regular towel. I just wrap it around a couple of my longer clubs like that. Obviously, you want your bag adjusted correctly. The bag should come up right here above your butt in the small of your back. That's your carry bag. That's where it should be situated. A good common courtesy when you're walking and you're making a lot of noise is to put your arm around your clubs and then use your towel to hold in between some of your irons so you're not clanking around all the time. You can walk and not make any noise if you know what you're doing. That's your bag setup right there. Get out and walk, do your thing. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.